Hi, my name is Janelle and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Falling In by Lydia Michaels. Falling In is the first book in the Surrender Trilogy by Lydia Michaels. In this book we meet Scout, or she's also known as Evelyn, and Scout is a 22 year old homeless maid inside the Patrick's Hotel. When we first meet her, she has just gotten this job and she's still living on the streets and her goal is just to get a roof over her head for the first time in her life. Now it just so happens in the first couple weeks that she's working there that she gets sent up to one of the master suites to clean and there she meets Lucy and Patrick who is one of, well, he is the main owner of the, of the Patrick's Hotel. Lucy and Patrick is a multi-billionaire and you can tell just from his energy, from his stance, from the way he walks, the way he talks, everything. You can tell. This is pretty obvious to Scout when she bumps into him. Literally, she, well, not bumps into him, but there's an accident and they meet and she thinks she's going to get fired, but she's not. Um, he ends up becoming quite enamored with her and he offers her a proposition. A proposition of the sexual kind and she takes him up on his offer after some thought. This is kind of where the story kicks off. Now Evelyn isn't your typical type of protagonist. Yes she's homeless and um but it's more than that. Evelyn has so much pride and so much determination to become this independent woman. Her mother is a drug addict. She has no idea who her father is. She's never met him before all she's heard are stories that her mom has told her as she's been growing up when she's not high um and she lives on the streets literally on the streets she has never had a home before she lives in a shelter sometimes when it's open and she sleeps on a bag that she has to protect with her life she literally sleeps when i open so what i loved most about this book was the story the development of Scout's character. She is so innocent in so many ways, but she's such a strong person at the same time. And I really like to see how that relationship grew from a compromise to infatuation on more on Lucian's behalf and how it ended pretty sweet. It was a sweet type of love and I really enjoyed seeing that that journey. It's a Cinderella story, totally a Cinderella story. It reminds me of a mix of Cinderella, Pretty Woman, and like a sprinkle of Fifty Shades of Grey. Just a sprinkle though. If you enjoy Fifty Shades of Grey, you'll probably like this because almost everybody loves this. If you like Cinderella stories, you're gonna love this one. I really enjoyed it. I actually already read the next two books in the series. Don't hate me. I couldn't help myself. So yeah. Four out of five stars for this one. I will say though that the only thing that I didn't like so much was that it wasn't in first person. I wish this book would have been in first person, all three books would have been in first person. I feel like we would have connected better with both Scout and Lucian. That's it. That's really my only con. I, I didn't give it five stars mostly because I felt like I've kind of read similar stories to this before. Yeah. Um, if you read it, if you plan to read it, if you've already read it, if you have certain opinions about this, please let me know. I would love to talk about it. That's why I'm here. I just want to talk about these books. So yeah, just comment below and I'll see you next time. Bye!